Social Text pages are a great place to share information with your colleagues. You start by choosing the workspace you want to create the page in. Then at the top right, click New Page. You're presented with a choice of page or spreadsheet, and if you want to start with a blank page or use a template. For this tutorial, let's just create a blank page. Social text pages are a great place to share meeting notes, maintain product documentation, share best practices, track progress on projects, and more. The social text page editor makes it easy to create great looking pages. Let's start by taking a look at some simple text. You can control attributes such as size, color, style, and alignment. You can create bullet lists. as well as numbered lists. You can create tables, for example, a three by three, centered in the middle of the page. And we'll go over several advanced table features in a separate video. You can create links to social text pages. You just enter the name of the workspace or leave it blank for the current workspace and then start entering the name of the page. You can link to websites, entering the text that you want people to click on and then the site's URL. You can upload files to a page. If the file is an image, it'll automatically be embedded on the page, like this one of this office building. If you double click on the image, you can customize its size. And we'll take a look at advanced features of images in a separate video. You can also embed rich media from the web, like YouTube videos. You just enter the URL, and then the size you'd like it to be displayed. When in edit mode, you'll see a gray rectangle in place of where the video will be displayed. You can double click on that rectangle to edit the video's properties. You can also embed presentations hosted on SlideShare in exactly the same way. To see what a finished page will look like when people are reading it, click on Preview at the top left. Notice the video and the presentation are now displayed. From here, you can either save the page if you're done, or go back to editing it. At the top of the page, you can enter a summary of the changes you've made, and click to post a signal with a link back to this page, making it simple for you to share your work with your colleagues.